cleanse the cards and the energy and then I'm going to ask you to check out the description box if you'd like to view my new website where you can book all your personal readings and your healing services like Reiki yeah so I'm just cleansing the energy with Indian white sage incense So I'd like to ask God for messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and North Node. Messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces, please. I just heard Ancient. This could be your ancestors, that's what I'm hearing too. Yeah, so I feel like you're connecting with someone who could be a past life, you know, love, that's what I'm hearing. This is someone that, you know, you've just found. This person could live overseas, that's what I'm hearing here. But I also feel like they have some kind of, you know, past life love with you too. So that's why I'm hearing ancient. This is like a past life love that you found, like a, a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection I'm also hearing too. Yeah, so you might have just started seeing this person, so you haven't really, you know, made much memories with this person yet. This is all new to you, that's what I'm hearing. But this person feels like you're the type who can lift them higher, or that's how you feel, that's what I'm hearing. You could have been in quite a low vibration in the past, I feel like a lot of secrets, you know, have occurred in your life. You've been held back, that's what I'm hearing here. You've been held back by past people. That's why, you know, this, this new connection is heading in your direction. I feel like you've been let down so many times, you've been put in a dark place so this could be like a dark night of the soul that you incurred in the past too yeah where you know you just kept going into karmic cycles where somebody treated you badly kept you in a low vibration kept you stuck and held you back they also lied to you a lot that's what i'm hearing here too but you have a new offer and it's a night of cups. This is someone that's emotionally available. Someone who wants to invite you into their world. Someone who wants to, you know, be the person that lifts you higher. 
takes you places. I see this person wanting to take you across the world. Yeah. I feel like in the past you cried over spilled milk. You was trying to hold on to so many, you know, past loves, past experiences. But you started to let go. And this person is has come into your life like, you know, like, like a miracle. That's what I'm hearing here. Someone who could possibly save you. That's what I'm hearing here. From any past traumas that you've been in, you know, in the past. This person's a type who will help you to overcome any past, you know, bad experiences, any, you know, emotions that you've held back from dealing with. That's what I'm hearing here too. This person's cups, are, you know, they're full of love. Whereas in the past you had a lot of, you know, I'm hearing detrimental times. So this could have been you know, someone who played with your mind. I'm hearing mental conflict. I'm also hearing mind control. So you had someone who was, you know, controlling you by, could have been criticizing you, putting you down, making you not see your worth. That's what I'm hearing here too. You could have had a lot of sleepless nights in the past worrying about somebody. That's what I'm hearing as well. Or worrying about, you know, past experiences that have brought you down. You've had a lot of sleepless nights because of these people. You could have also been dealing with someone in the past who, you know, went to jail a lot. Did secret things that got them locked up or taken away from you. So you might have, you know, had so many real hard, bad experiences that, you know, you didn't expect someone to come into your life to love you. So you might be the type of person who's finding it hard to accept that this person's loving on you and being nice to you. Maybe you're just used to, you know, being hurt, being injured by people people bringing your confidence down because I'm hearing low self-esteem. You as the type who shied away from people who didn't really, you know, tell anyone that you was going through anything, you know, any conflict or chaos. You kept it to yourself. So you've had a lot to deal with and this person is coming to your life, you know, as the love of your life. And you might be finding it hard to accept this person is being so nice to you. Maybe you think they're going to be like the past person that you left behind. Yeah, because with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone who views you as marriage material. They think you're beautiful. They think you're abundant in every area of your life. They're helping you overcome your traumas and you're starting to shine. That's what I'm hearing. You're no longer single. You're, you know, you're in a relationship or that's what this person wants. This person wants you to leave behind the players, leave behind the bad experiences, you know, to step into a new realm, a higher vibration, where love is, you know, the answer, that's what I'm hearing, they have the answer to your problems, you was living in, you know, a lack mindset, where you thought it was normal to be treated badly by a person, but this person's showing you that, you know, you are worth something, you are valued, you are loved and they love you, they want to marry you. I see an offer of marriage, a proposal coming in for you very soon. I just feel like it's time to start embracing this person, to leave behind, you know, what happened to you in the past with these people who could have constantly gone to jail and done bad things or done bad things to you. I feel like it's time to move forward positively because you're gonna continue a cycle of hurt 
a cycle of being cheated on, a cycle of being left behind if you don't make the right decision with this new person. This new person is nothing like your past, that's what I'm hearing. And you've got the magician. And I see that you could have manifested this new person into your life. You prayed, you wished, you hoped and dreamed for someone new to come in. You could have made affirmations daily. I want real love I'm hearing. I want true love. I want the truth. That's what I'm hearing here too. You're someone who's been on so many, you know, karmic cycles. You didn't expect this, you know, this manifestation to come into your life. Yeah, I feel like you've been fed a lot of, I'm hearing bullshit by people or a person that, you know, constantly took you on a wheel of, of bad luck. They brought your vibration down. They didn't lead you to your destiny. They wasn't interested in your destiny. That's what I'm hearing here too. I feel like this new person could live you know, across the sea from you in another country, maybe. Maybe it's another state or another area. But this person wants to take you away from this old life, show you something new. Yeah, because I've got the death card. They want you to end things with your past and move forward with them. They don't want you to stay stuck in that mindset or in that life, or even in that area. So they could, you know, they could ask you to move in with them or to move, you know, closer to them. I'm hearing that too. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel like you're not sure whether this person's genuine or not, whether to make that move. You're very sceptical, you, you're probably the type who's procrastinating. You're thinking, you know, is this person real? So your intuition's not really, you know, you're not listening to your intuition, that's what I'm picking up here. You're just seeing the downside of things. So for example, someone tells you, you know, they love you and you're thinking they don't. You're, you're always procrastinating, you're always, you know, questioning this person's intention. And you're not listening to your intuition, you're just always looking for the bad side of things. Yeah, this is real true love, this person really does love you. They found you, you're the love of their life. They want to give you the world, that's what I'm seeing here. I also see this person was sent into your life by God. God sent them to rescue you, to save you, to uplift you. Because you're the sunshine, that's what I'm seeing here. You have a, a bright vibration, very attractive kind of person. You attracted this person into your life because you've been through so much because you left it behind. You've attracted this new person into your energy that is gonna love you for life. This person will bring you flowers in the morning. This person wants to grow with you in every aspect, especially spiritually. That's what I'm seeing here. They wanna take you to a different realm, a higher, love vibration where there's only love where you'll only receive love nothing like the past that you've left behind okay so with this card i feel like you're thinking this person just wants to sleep with you and have sex with you they don't want to you know build a life you're just you're looking at the past too much. You're thinking that all men are the same or all women are the same, but it's not true. This person, you know, would probably, 
you know, be so attracted to you. They want to sleep with you, but that's not their only wish. That's what I'm hearing here. This person wants to pick you up from the bottom because you've been weak for a long time. You've let people walk all over you, treat you as a doormat and, you know, not see your worth. You couldn't see your worth in the past. And that's why you don't know if this is real or, or fake. That's what I'm hearing. But I'm getting it is a real offer. It's someone who wants to not only help you emotionally, they want to help you spiritually. They want to help you grow, you know, physically too. That's what I'm seeing here. It's almost like a rebirth, like this person's bringing you back from the dead. They're showing you what real love is. And this might be the first time you've ever experienced real love in your entire life. So it's just hard for you. And I understand it, is, it would be hard for anyone to overcome, you know, a feeling of worthlessness to a feeling of love only. Yeah, this person wants to take all your problems away, take your stresses away, take the ideals you had from the past away, that people just come in and take your love, take your heart, take your money, take whatever you have and give nothing back. This is someone else, this is someone new. This is not a past person. So you could have been dealing with people who steal from you in the past. That's what I'm seeing here. This person who went to prison could have been a thief. You know, you're thinking this person steals too. So I feel like the other person stole a lot from you mind, body and soul. This person wants to take those pains away, take the pressure away, you know, heal you. That's what I'm hearing. Not only do they want to take you to live with them, they want to take all your problems away. Yeah, we've got the justice card here. This person wants to give you everything you want. I see justice. I see the scales being balanced. And I also see this person will not only love you, they'll protect you. They'll protect you physically. They'll protect you spiritually. This person just wants to love and protect you your whole being that's what i'm hearing here this person has fallen for you this is deep love this is spiritual love that's what i'm hearing yeah this is a past person you've left behind but at the same time i see a past love this is a past life relationship Someone you've been with many lifetimes, you know, in different forms, I'm hearing. So you've been, you find this person in every lifetime. It's just that you had a lot of hard lessons to learn about love, what love wasn't and what love really should be. So this is, you know, this is a time now to learn what love really should be, to take your lessons into the future so you don't make the same mistakes, but leave, you know, leave the hurt behind. So this is, you know, you going within and healing yourself from any past traumas, from any, you know, betrayal. Yeah, so I've got the devil and I've got the ace of pentacles. So with these two cards, I feel like this person's offering you love. They're attracted to you. They're obsessed with you. You know, like in a loving way though. They want to be with you and they want to protect you from this past person. 
They want to take you and, you know, give you everything you deserve. That's what I see here. This is definitely an offer of love. And this offer of love is coming down from above with the hand coming from the sky. This person wants to love you, but they're sent to you by God. God sent them into your energy because you deserve the best. You deserve the highest love on earth. That's what I'm hearing. And you're blessed. I just heard too. This is a blessing from above. And I'd like to ask for some clarity. Yeah, I've got the Ten of Cups. What can I say? This is real true wish fulfillment. Real true love. Someone is going to love you for life. This person's gonna not only marry you, they're gonna build a home, a castle. You know, they're gonna have children with you. They want, you know, they wanna grow with you and leave a legacy behind of love. That's what I'm seeing here. They wanna build a new lineage with you, a lineage of, you know, emotional love, caring, loyalty you know, everything you could imagine or want. This is all your dreams coming true. So, you know, no more procrastinating, no more feeling worthlessness, no more holding back from this person. This person's gonna love you for life. That's what I keep hearing. This person's gonna take you to higher heights heights as high as a rainbow in the sky. I just see love, nothing but love, nothing but abundance after this tragic past. And this is your reading, so I hope this helps you. And don't forget to like and subscribe Bye, guys.